Good morning. This is Mission Control Houston. Thank you for joining us for today's ISS update this Tuesday, September 27th. We are coming to you now live inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room of the Christopher C. Craft Mission Control Center, where the uh, team here is monitoring the system yes. aboard the uh, station and supporting the day's activities of the Expedition 29 crew members. Leading the team here in the station flight control room today is Flight Director Derek Hossman, seen here in the yellow shirt on the right-hand side of your screen with astronaut Dan Taney there next to him, who is serving as CAPCOM, relaying all ground messages up to the crew. Aboard the orbiting complex, stash, station commander Mike Fossum and flight engineer Satoshi Furukawa and Sergei Volkov are in their second week aboard the orbiting complex as the Expedition 29 crew and 16th week in space. Commander Fossum, Volkov, and Furukawa had launched to the orbiting complex aboard their Soyuz spacecraft as the Expedition 28 crew this summer on June 7th. They then docked to the Rosviet module of the space station two days after their launch on June 9th. Today, they will complete their 112th consecutive day in space with a little less than two months left before they return to Earth on November 22nd. Meanwhile, back on Earth, the second half of the Expedition 29 crew, astronauts Dan Burbank and cosmonauts Anton Shkoplerov and Anatoly Ivanishin, who are scheduled to launch from Baikonur in Kazakhstan on November 14, have begun their final flow of preparations to join their crewmates there aboard the International Space Station. The trio will join the crew aboard station on November 16 and will make up the full crew of Expedition 29. On orbit, while the expedition crew members continue to conduct scientific research and perform maintenance to their home away from home, they also take time out today to engage students in a variety of educational opportunities. With uh, class now in session in schools around the world, the space station sets the stage for learning from the highest classroom, currently circling the Earth at an altitude of about 230 statute miles. The uh, space station with its crew on board had made a pass across the United States before coming across the North Atlantic Ocean and is now headed toward East Brazil. After the crew's wake up at 1 a.m. Central Time today, the expedition crew had participated in the first of two daily planning conferences with ground controllers at mission control centers around the world to review the day's activities and plan for the next set of tasks. The crew will participate in another daily planning conference just before entering its pre-sleep period a couple hours after today's ISS update hour. The crew is then scheduled to go to bed at 4.30 p.m. Central Time. Following a quick update on today's activities aboard the station, Commander Mike Fossum will join us with a live downlink here on NASA television in an educational event with the Hispanic Engineering Science and Technology Conference of the University of Texas, Pan American in Edinburgh, Texas. He will be talking with the university's president, Dr. Robert Nelson, Congressman Ruben Hinojosa, and local middle school students. Again, that educational event will air live here on NASA television at 10.10 a.m. Central Time, 11.10 a.m. Eastern Time. Commentator After this morning's educational event, Fossum will record a water analysis data from the onboard total organic carbon analyzer. Also during today's ISS update hour, flight engineer Sergei Volkov will inspect and photograph shell elements of the Zarya module. While flight engineer Satoshi Furukawa inspects the condensate water separator assembly. Afterward, Furukawa will begin his daily exercise using the advanced resistive exercise device that simulates weightlifting here on Earth. Commander Fossum spent much of this early morning performing maintenance to the onboard water recovery system and conducting a water analysis. This coming after he had replaced a faulty fluids control and pump assembly last week to get the system that converts urine to drinking water back online. He also recorded a video podcast on the importance of cardiovascular health and together with Furukawa, an educational demonstration on a gyroscopes for later downlink. Earlier, 
Hasbro Akawa had set up the Lego's Bricks educational study that involves a series of toy Lego kits that are assembled on orbit and used to demonstrate scientific concepts to students. Meanwhile, Volkov had cleaned the ventilation grills and screens on interior panels of the Zarya module. He also captured oceanic photos and video as the uh, station made a cross made a pass across the southeastern Pacific as part of an ocean observation study and tended to the Russian plants experiment that researches the growth of wheat plants in microgravity. Volkov then performed an oxygen repress from the docked Progress resupply ship. Later today, essential physical exercise will dominate the last few hours of the crew's day as each crew member will have performed their daily two-hour exercise regimen. The onboard gym is equipped with a treadmill that provides a cardio workout, a stationary bicycle that provides both cardio and resistance, and the advanced resistive exercise device that simulates weightlifting here on Earth, providing critical strength training to prevent bone loss in the absence of gravity. After a run on the treadmill, Commander Fossum will inspect the isolator on the station's bicycle equipment. He will then swap out the second camera battery of the ongoing binary colloidal alloy experiment. And Volkov will perform daily routine maintenance to the Rus Russian life support system known as the SOJ and later participate in a standard like private medical Joe. conference Check before he and his crewmates go to bed at 4.30 p.m. Central Time. This is Mission Control Houston.